Throughout the winter season, we have people out there looking out for us, especially when we venture into the backcountry. It's Vail Mountain Rescue. Joining me this morning, Dan Smith, who is one of the kingpins there, the leader. Oh, one of the old Capitan. ones. Capitan. What is your <laughs> title there? Oh, uh, I'm just still on the board, but actually I'm the Viejo. I'm the old guy. Yeah, you've been there forever. I 15 mean, years. It's pretty remarkable uh, what you all do. Uh, yeah. First, let's share that with our yeah. folks that you know maybe are new to the valley. If you're 25 yards off the highway you, and in trouble, you belong to us. Okay. That's basically it. Whether it's swift water, you, know, you were talking about Uller, the winter god. Well, if Uller is good to us, Nemi Nemi, the uh, Nepalese river god, will probably be good to us, that's, and we'll have white water missions. That's coming. Uh, we do anything. Snowmobiles, crashed aircraft, paragliders, lost hikers, people who hit trees, uh, anything that's outside the ski area boundary and 25 yards off the highway, you're ours. And it's volunteer-based. Everybody's volunteer. Nobody gets a paycheck. Uh, we have to raise about $100,000 a year, and the fellow coming after me, uh, Shane Connery, is uh, going to talk about our fundraising arm, mm -hmm. Friends of Mountain Rescue. This week, one mission last night, of course, they're always at night, gentleman stuck his snow machine up on top of Horn Silver Mountain. Which and I'm going to say the snowmobile, sled neck, brap, brap. Yeah, same you thing. You guys on your sleds And you're about a five-mile walk from any place, and the machine is still there. Yeah. Our two good riders that went up and got him out could not ride the machine out. So really? you know it's really stuck. And you guys know how to ride. Well, I don't necessarily, well, but they, those they, two they guys do. do. They do. You have a phenomenal snowmobile. Oh, yeah. And uh, so they get up, dig him out. He's been digging since 2 o'clock. By the time we get to him, about 7 o'clock, it's nice and dark. We get him out about 8.30 and back to the trailhead about 9.30. He's a whip noodle I mean, yeah. and, and should be. We got him a hotel to, to stay. The machine is still there. But if you look at the backcountry now, I've got three slides that are uh, an avalanche that ripped loose on the 19th in Shrine Bowl. Very popular snow machining area. Uh, there were two riders in there. One tried the high point, which means pop over the cornice. He didn't quite get there, and the avi ripped loose. Uh, this and whole section, the whole, the looks like whole the whole bowl. hillside went. The whole bowl went. That is a beast of a slide. What is it, 300 yards? Yeah, and it's not terribly deep, but it's deep enough. It's about a foot and a half Holy to two feet cow. deep. And that will take you out. And you can see yeah. where the little puff of uh, snow there is where other people have tried to high point and have survived because yeah. they didn't knock the cornice down. But if you knock that cornice down, that's eight feet of snow and it will take you out you won't survive yeah, it's it's like moving concrete oh and when I it mean, stops it's set concrete yeah it, that's the thing it's locked in uh, i want to bring up a photograph of my friend derek dreyer oh yeah Ooh. i don't know exactly where that is that was him uh he posted that on instagram yesterday i believe he's tuned in right now i just yeah. you know, what, a, what do you have to say about this well type there's of a behavior? cornice he's going over <laughs> And let's say he gets unlucky and he trips that cornice. Yeah. Now his choice is, can he outrun it? If he outruns the cornice as it goes downhill, <laughs> that's good. Knowing him, if, he could. If he catches a front ski mm -hmm. and flips over, he's gone. We may or may not get him out. Uh, but you're the guy to call. We're 45 minutes away. Yeah. And it's the only people who are going to dig you out of your buddies. So don't do anything alone. He this, was with friends. This guy on Horn Silver was by himself. Yeah. There's nothing in this valley in any season you need to do alone. It's much more fun to do it with somebody else. Plus, you got backup if yeah. you get in trouble. You're talking to a culprit, though. You know what <laughs> I, mean? know you. I, I paddle a lot alone. I work with you a lot. I, I go in the backcountry a lot alone. I am one of those people, I hate to say, but I, I have my fishing license, yeah. which doesn't that help me out in my, if, if I need you? Isn't that a good thing well, to no, have? No, you, you get us whether you buy your fishing license or not. That money goes to a pool that sheriffs can, can draft and it's usually for helicopter time. Mm -hmm. Our helicopter time is federal dollars because we're flying a National Guard. So in this county, really doesn't matter. I love you guys. Thank Take you for care. everything Thank you do. You. We'll we are going to learn more about donations. It does oh, yeah. cost. And I'll tell you, you don't know the value of this until you are stuck out there. And I have been a sled neck in the past. I've got my sled stuck, and I'm like, <gasps> and I just barely got out. You've and helped us on a river rescue that I remember up yeah. on, on Beaver Creek, and we really appreciate that. So. Uh, no worries. Well, I love but what you But you two do. can get in trouble. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Well, good to have you. Uh, we're going to learn more about fundraising with Vail Mountain Rescue and re return. But uh, we've got Mark Sassy. He's got things coming up. We've got a watch and win. We also have got a weather report next, so stay with us.